you cannot carry the anointing without an understanding of consecration there are two dimensions to consecration let me quickly touch on it consecration has two dimensions number one is abstinence from number two is devotion unto most people only know the abstinence part consecration i repeat is abstinence from and then devotion to if you abstain from and you are not devoted to you are not consecrated abstinence from devotion unto are we together so you are abstaining from all appearance of evil well done but what are you devoted to It says this one thing I do this how many things one thing Martha Martha you are worried and upset about many things it says but one thing is needful there are conditions apostle I want to prosper financially I know God desires to prosper me uh-huh so what knowledge do you have do you understand the conditions that are connected to it for instance the Bible says there is he that scattereth and yet increase it there is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty the Bible now says listen carefully that a diligent hand shall be made fat am I right on that yes the Bible says as the gift of a man shall make room for him and bring him before great men these are all the components pieced together that command true biblical prosperity and most people will know it may even know the conditions but the faith to engage it consistently is not there hallelujah let the redeemed of the lord say so when last did you say so when last did you say so if the redeemed of the lord say so that means everything that redemption brought they should also say it let the healed of the lord say so let the lifted of the lord say so let the blessed of the lord say so let the anointed of the lord say so even jesus himself said before your father abraham was i am he didn't keep quiet about it destroy this temple and i will build it again after three days are we together say so the Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I be afraid of? Say so. Say unto the righteous, it shall be well with them. Therefore I decree and declare over my life that it is well with me. It is well with me. When men say there is a casting down, for me I declare that there is a lifting up. This is not just some Pentecostal talk. It is how the kingdom operates. Hallelujah. While we look not at the things that are seen, the Bible says, but the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are temporal. That means anything I see that is inconsistent with the word of God, it is my assignment to work in partnership with the word of God to begin to sponsor change and conversion until it reflects that which God has said. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ faith most people have not obtained the faith to engage the word of god obedience to god's word is the only way to commit god's integrity to perform please listen obedience to god's word is the only way to commit god's integrity to perform like we learned from pastor isaac the price listen every time you want to see revival it is a combination of expectation and hunger and repentance these are the factors it will not change desiring revival quoting it will not bring it it takes hunger it takes expectation he said look on us and the bible says the man looked at them expecting to receive something i want to become a great businessman known by all then you must subscribe to the law of diligence diligence he said he that strives for mastery is not crowned unless he strives lawfully 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 nobody wins the olympic by mistake it takes intention and discipline this one thing i do he says forgetting the things that are behind i press towards the mark of the high calling in christ hallelujah 
I'm tired of this level that I am now. How do I move to the next level? You find the answer in Genesis chapter 13. God told Abraham, he said, from where thou art, lift up your eyes. Not just where you want to go. From any location you can look up. You may not be able to look far. You may not be able to look left and right. But looking up is a privilege of all men. You can look up from a pit. You can look up from the palace. You can look up from any direction. Upon a mountain in a valley, you still have the privilege of looking up and you will see the same thing hallelujah someone who is living say one kilometer from here may not see this auditorium because it's limited are we together but someone from one kilometer can see something up and you who is here you can see something up someone in a skyscraper can see the same thing someone in a valley can see the same thing so the key to rising is first to look up it says from where thou art lift up your eyes and then look northward southwards eastward westward it said for wherever your the, 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 the um as far as your eyes can see that to you it will be given faith 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 in the promises haven't known that he's faithful and true haven't known that god is dependable now my next assignment becomes to explore to have a thorough knowledge a thorough knowledge of what is available for me and then to understand the conditions that are connected to it listen even in our corporate life you only promote people when you train them what is the purpose of training to bring them into a greater consciousness of the more those operandi of that company am i right to help them understand other products that other people at lower ranks may not even know you are privy to certain informations and it qualifies you to be promoted what is the difference between someone who just got a job and a senior executive in that company knowledge of what is available knowledge of the conditions and the fortitude the zeal to engage some of the senior executives may still remain in the office where everybody has gone because of their determination to keep the company moving. Listen, let me tell you the truth. Anybody who is not willing to stay with God and obtain the grace to obtain faith, faith from God to engage the word of God, that person will inevitably be disappointed. Inevitably be disappointed. I can have a vision and say, Pastor, I saw that there was a wonderful auditorium. I saw a place called the good land that God gave you. My vision can be correct. God can even show him in a dream. Are we together? But that vision will remain forever and not come to pass. Because until he gets up and takes a step, the Bible says the Lord um, walking with them confirming the word confirming the word to confirm means you take a step and then God confirms are we together now with signs following with signs following with signs following when he saw a man who was born blind watch this the Bible says he took mud and mix it with spit to put it in his eyes and told the blind man find your way to a pool called Salome. i don't know whether that is kindness but i know that is faith that you touch a man's eyes and then you make him blind the more but if there was any trace of sight you covered it with mud and said find your way to Salome." the man would have been offended and angry with more drying up in his eyes he would have remained there and said this God is not powerful how about Naaman the captain of the Syrian army the Bible says he was a valiant man in war but he was leprous to cut the long story short by the advice of a slave girl he comes to meet Elisha and Elisha does not even come out to see him he says to go and wash seven times and that was the end of it the power of God has come through his prophet but whether it will happen in the life of Naaman or not, I hope you know he was offended. He was on his way to go back home and that miracle would have remained there. You would be surprised that someone else who ran into that river would have been healed, not even knowing why. Because as the moment he spoke, the power started hovering around the location of obedience. Are we together?
and eventually he went and dipped himself five times six times and was checking nothing happened even at the sixth time until your obedience is complete and he came out the seventh time and the bible says his flesh was like that of a baby and he was so he was so impacted by that miracle he returned back to say thank you to elisha and elisha said no 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 you go and gehazi was angry so it tells you that it's not only signs and wonders that were around the prophet all kinds of things were there waiting for who satisfies the condition even trouble has conditions it doesn't come anyhow it's just that ignorance has made us masters of activating the conditions that bring trouble Naaman, the, the possibility of leprosy was always there but Naaman did not fulfill the condition I mean I'm, I'm Gehazi now Gehazi sees the man going and he says no way I can't let this man go like this and then he followed him and said hey Elisha has changed his mind he said you should not just go just give me let me take some I wouldn't take everything you can go with some and Elijah said was not my spirit with you and in a moment that man became leprous that man became what what was wrong with Naaman that meant that whether he understood it or not under a certain condition that leprosy came to him and this man do you notice most times God will heal people and say go and sin no more there was something the Bible may not give us the details of how Naaman became leprous but we see from the life of Gehazi that you can you can receive leprosy the same way you receive wealth you receive the anointing you can fulfill a condition and receive it you can receive trouble like a visitor trouble minding his business you can invite it to your life the thing that I feared most has come upon me that your fear can attract something from anywhere to say someone is calling me it says and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage no wonder the Bible says finally brethren Philippians 4 verse 8 whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are lovely is that in your Bible it says if there be any virtue if there be any praise think on these things Philippians 2 and verse 5 it says let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus someone say faith one more time say faith obedience that you obey the word of God if God says to give and to increase then from that standpoint of understanding every time you drop a seed you know that you are not just helping a man of God this is not a church donation this is not offering there is a spiritual transaction that is happening and that they who are not of faith will not understand because the natural man does not understand the things of the spirit are we together now yes that someone can drop a seed and with that seed program a climate of favor to wait for him somewhere someone who has no business remembering you is made to remember you because there is a name god is also called the father of spirits every human spirit is under his control and he can manipulate it to work his will that even if it is pharaoh he can give you gift after oppressing you i hope you know the one who gave israel gold was the same person who refused to give them straw don't be surprised that your boss who said by next week I will fire you is the one who said can I send you for training abroad but listen he does not do it he is made to do it your assignment is to know how powerful God is to know the promises that have been left for you and to know how to engage it by faith hallelujah you believe that So God can speak to you and say, go and build a hospital. And you want to collapse at that instruction. You call an architect to calculate something and the, the, the foundation alone will build a house for you. And you say, God, this is not fair. How do you in disrupt my life and disrupt my peace with this kind of instruction? But yours is to obey. Lord, I believe you. I may not understand how you do it. But all I know is that when you speak, it is within your power to make happen. 
Holy Spirit, guide me on what step to take. And he will say, go and greet that man. And while you are discussing, the man will say, you know for three years, God has been telling me he's going to send somebody to build a hospital and that half of the bill should come from me. You see, you wouldn't tell anybody that, you would not need to tell everybody where the money came from. They would just see supernatural results and say, your faith is working. And they are right. Hallelujah. Many times people see me and say, but Apostle, when you are praying for the sick, is it that you are not afraid of your reputation, especially when it's online? You say, you, I have parents, they are life. I have, you, you think I'm a stupid person who wants to make a fool of myself? No. I told you the spelling of faith yesterday. Let's spell it. R. Excellent students. One more time. Yes. That you lay your hands on someone on a wheelchair on crutches and the world is watching you that's why it's not good to collect money from people because at least you are free whatever happens is when you now transact it and it backfires are we together but when the miracle happens at the other side of the testimony you now enjoy the blessings is that true yes if it be thou bid me come and Peter walked. I'm sure he was enjoying it. He turned and told the disciples, you can't imagine what it feels like walking on water. But it was at the instance of obedience. When nations honor you and honor God in your life, what they are simply honoring is a testament of believing in God. That a man can believe God unto his excelling. A man can believe God unto his rising. Let me speak over someone's life already. In the name of Jesus Christ, where you have come for many years you have refused to rise through fear through disobedience i release you go forward now i release you make progress now in the name of jesus christ please sit down pastor there are people who may never build in their whole life because they are waiting until the day they have all the money. They are waiting until the day everything. God gave you favor and they've given you the land. And in your visions, every night you see a house that is complete. Let me assure you, if he's the God of the Bible, waiting for the complete money will never come. Even if he can, there is something you need to learn. At the end of that building, the first person to be built is you before the structure. So God will design. When you see God working with men, he limits certain things because he wants you to learn him on the way are we together now so you take a step of faith and just when you gather the whole money for zinking god will say go and sow it ah god now i fixed the date for the the dedication what kind of embarrassment is this and then while you are talking you say someone will bless you tomorrow add to it and sow everything and then when you are alone he now says, I want to reveal myself to you as Jaira. And you will think you've known him. And all of a sudden, that string of unbelief will cut once and for all. And you say, Lord, even if it's the whole building, I can give it to you. Your fear dies. It is at that point, someone will now come and say, God instructed me to not only help you roof your building but to bless you and to make you a board member of our company for the rest of your life when you are testifying people clap but that was an exploit of faith hebrews 11 it says time will fail me to talk of gideon and jephthah and barak men through faith who through faith subdued kingdoms wrought righteousness shut the mouth of lions women received their dead back to life the bible simply calls them elders that they obtained a good report now faith is it says the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen for by it the elders obtained a good report i remember when the lord spoke to me about moving to abuja i said god you have come again and for three years we're doing our discussions and argument back and forth and i said what is this i was not even sure where I kept verifying I don't know whether it was verification as a result of unbelief or I said are you sure of this oh God let me be sure that it is you hallelujah and then now the trouble of getting an auditorium or getting a place 
from the visions God was showing me where are you going to God what is all this one and then he stretches you and then he stretches you one time I remember I was praying listen every time you are in doubt start praying you just start praying don't worry about what you are feeling you just begin to pray something happens to you when you begin to generate energy are we together now but ye beloved building up yourselves on your most holy faith praying in the holy ghost every time your mind is clouded with doubts and fears and it looks like you are surrounded by impossibilities begin to engage in prayer strategic consistent prayer in the spirit I remember when I began to pray the Lord gave me an instruction and he said to buy to get the map of Abuja the map of Nigeria the map of Africa and the map of the globe these four maps I laid my hands on them and I continue to pray to pray the rest is history and to God be the glory for all that he's doing and for all that he's done can I tell you God has given me an orientation and I do not want to sound proud. There is absolutely no, I do not believe that there are any limitations in my life. The only limitations in my life are number one, the voice of God, two, the law of process. That's it. In my world, there are no limitations. When he gives a matching order, it does not matter what I meet in front of me. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome, you overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You this is overcome. a word for someone. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. So, Apostle, I want to be healed of this sickness. Step one is to know the God who brings the healing. Ah know the God who brings the healing when you are in doubt go and look at his credentials when they want to give you a job or they want to trust you they will say bring your credentials am I right on that and then when they begin to flip through your CV in 1999 he received an award from UN in 2000 he received an award from EU who questions that kind of credentials the Bible is full of God's credentials. You are doubting him, watch what he did before the Red Sea. You are doubting him, watch what he did in the days of Joshua. His credentials. To know that this God is mighty. To know that this God is almighty. Omnipotent. Omniscient. Omnipresent. Mighty God. That when God decides to arise on your case, woe betides the man who stands his way. To the point that he turned a king to become an animal for seven years. To teach him a lesson that there is a God that sits on the circles of the earth. Can I tell you, no man on earth has the power to bully you. Every man was once a baby in the hands of a woman. There was no man in our world today who was born an adult. Every man was a baby. The one who made that baby grow can bring that person down too. Because you see, we live in a world where people have mastered the art of bullying and intimidating others. No. But the people that do know their God. Oh, there's no land for you in Lagos, they say. Forget it. Are you right on that? God is called the God of portions. The Bible says the increase of the earth is for all. That even the, the king is served from that which comes from the field. Apostle, but I'm coming from a background where I've never risen before. Go and read about ordinary men from their lowly estate who were lifted by God. Do you not read about Joseph who was in the pit one moment and exalted another moment? Do you not read of Daniel and the other eunuchs that went in as slaves and then were exalted to become one of the presidents? Go and read about the young girl called Hadassah Esther hiding somewhere in Shushan with no father and through her 
uncle Mordecai, she was exalted and became queen. The credentials of God. Go and read about a whole land that was wrapped up in famine. And by the prophet, he said, by this time tomorrow. And a foolish man came and said, no, even if God opened the windows of heaven, might this thing be? How much do you owe that is giving you sleepless night? Let me tell you, there is a God in heaven. There is a God in heaven. There is a God in heaven. How much is the pain? The pain that is that is that is all around your life and your body, and there are all kinds of medical reports. Satan comes with his suggestion. So this is how you will die. So your children will be without a helper. Hezekiah said, I'm not dying. I will negotiate my longevity. He says, prophet, I respect you, but leave me and God. I know you are a vessel. Let me talk to God himself who owns the heavens and the earth. Lord, remember how I have walked diligently before you. And he negotiated 15 years plus sound health. For you are my God. You are my God. Sheba Saba Salakosiata. You are my God. Hey, hey. You are my God. Listen to me. The psalmist said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. Then it says, Whence cometh my help? Everybody is helped. The question is location. Whence cometh my help? Nobody rises without help. It says my own help. I can't assume that for everybody. But my help cometh from the Lord, the maker, the maker. Everything you see that was made was made by the maker. It's a name that he's called. He can make men to be powerful. He can make businesses to be great. He can make ministries to rise up great. Listen to me. We are going to have some time to pray. And I want you to believe. Shake away unbelief in your heart. The Lord brought you for this conference to reposition you. Is there anything that is too hard for me? You are not the first to look for a job. You are not the first to need healing. Ladies and gentlemen, you are not the first to be confronted with all kinds of situations around you. You are not the first to be negatively attended to. Do I need to ask you to pray? Or you are already praying? Do I need to tell you what to pray? Or anger, holy anger, should provoke you to begin to pray? Hallelujah. Listen. I opened my Bible and I found there written, it said, I will increase your greatness and comfort you round about. When I saw it, I believed it. I believed it. I believed it. When I read and it says, Gentiles shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising, I believed it. I still do believe it. When he said you will call on one person and a nation will respond to you, I believe it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. God is not a man that he should lie. Shake away unbelief. God is not a man. You are not the first to do ministry. If you are failing, it is not God. Take responsibility. God is not a man. There is an anointing God has shown you. When are you waiting for it to rest on your life? The grace that heals nations. The grace that lifts burdens.
Hallelujah. Can I tell you the truth? Hear me. Lagos is waiting for you with all its abundance and blessing, but it will take your faith. 